Heart failure is a big, big burden in Indian uh, healthcare context, and especially you would know that India is the capital of heart diseases. And people who do not get heart disease treatment early on, they pass on to heart failure, and it's uh, going to be in future also a big economic burden on uh, healthcare. We at Max Healthcare are providing the most advanced cardiac sciences program in the country where we are offering treatment to a neonate with a complex congenital anomalies to a person who of 90 to 100 years of age with advanced heart failure. Recently, we did it in a 40-year-old patient who came to us with 10% ejection fraction. This patient is a 41-year-old gentleman. He has a history of end-stage heart failure for the last seven years. He has been to many physicians, but his symptoms could not relieve. So that's why he was told that he should go for either ventricular cyst device or heart transplantation. Then he went to Malaysia to shop for this. But over there he came to know that in Max Hospital, they are doing uh, frequently the ventricular cyst devices. Then he contacted our senior cardiologist, Dr. Viveka Kumar and myself. While I was treating one of his uh, relatives and friend, family friend, they informed him that it is a very good facility where the all kind of heart treatments are available and they put me through him. When the patient came in, he was in end stage heart failure. He could not do even the activities of daily living, his washing, going to bathroom. He required some assistance. Before one month, I like that. No moving, no eating, no working, no thinking. We classify the heart failure into stage 1, 2, 3, 4 and then end stage heart failure. So he was in end stage heart failure and this was absolutely necessary to you know get him through this. When we evaluated his heart, it, the ejection fraction of the heart was only 20% and his heart was so big that it's not going to recover back to normal any point of time in the life. All the time crying, all the time sad, all the time sleeping. All the time, no able to, to speak. We here have a heart team where invasive cardiologists, non-invasive cardiologists, cardiac surgeons, anesthesiologists, patient healthcare providers, and the patient family. Everybody takes a call that what we are going to do for our patient. So we offered him for permanent solution that is ventricular assist device. This left ventricular assist device, which is called LVAD. This, what it does is, it's a kind of mechanical pump which takes blood from the left ventricle and it gives to, to the aorta. It's a kind of, the main chamber of the heart, it replaces that, it assists that chamber. The surgery went really smooth. He was extubated next day, ventilator was removed, his lines and tubes were removed after a few days. He was one of those who had, you know, strong will to live for long. So, in fact, that's quite helpful in these sort of patients. So, the cardiac patients who, who are in end stage heart failure but still, you know, very keen to live a normal life. So, those are the patients where we would uh, feel that the test therapy would work for long. Now, once the surgery is finished, he's out of uh, the surgical part. Now, he can do dancing, he can move around, he, he plays. He wants to play, he doesn't want to sit in the bed. He, he says he can do any activities at any level of activity. I am dance, I am singing, you are see. I am look, I am a take for the my face and my hair. A person who came to us crying without any hope for life and now I, I would request you to see him personally. He is jumping, he is dancing. In fact, in one of his, you know, in corridor, other patients laugh that he is so happy that he is dancing. So I think it's quite emotional moment that he 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 is, you know, a person who is who was really really eager to lead a normal life, active life, and a long life has been by virtue of these modalities has been given a new life. I would say. He transfer my life, transfer from death to uh, life, transfer the weak to strong, the time in the hospital, I am uh, feeling in my family. So we have identified one doctor cardiologist there in this country also and he'll be reporting to him that we have electronic follow-up also so he would be in touch on email and video conferencing also. I am very happy. I wanted to uh, to thank Dr. Kiwa. One million. Thank you. 
I advise the people in the world, not in Iraq, in the all the world, who is feeling this heart failure or any disease, coming in here to transfer their love, transfer from diet to love. I feel in this. I enter in here like diet, like diet. But now, 100% of my life changed.